Hi, this is Adam White, Senior Sales Engineer with BombGuard. I wanted to quickly go over how you can use the BombGuard Jump technology uh, to actually get into a session with a system that uh, already has a BombGuard Jump client installed on it, and then also show that process and how you can quickly and easily deploy an ad hoc Jump client or do so through the BombGuard slash login interface of the appliance. Uh, so what you, what I see uh, what I have on my screen right now is the Bomgar representative console, and uh, I have a uh, system pinned to a group called XP machines under my personal queue. So I'm able uh, to actually browse through this tree and see the computer name, the status that it's available. Uh, it's running as a service currently on that uh, remote machine, CPU utilization, disk uptime. Uh, the operating system as well as a uh, screenshot of this remote machine. So uh, to take control of this system all that I have to do is just double click this icon. We can say this uh, we can see this uh, starting session now and uh, in just a moment this will populate a new tab in the representative console that will give me access to this system and allow me to uh, to interact. So um, as we see this new tab and, uh, and I have uh, actual access to this system so I can start screen sharing for example. This will automatically give me access to this system just based on the permissions that I've set up for uh, myself as a representative. Uh, so likewise I have the ability to go directly into file transfer without uh, requiring an end user to be there. Same for command shell and also system information, so actually pulling information real-time from this remote system uh, and I can do this in an unattended fashion as we've seen uh, through this jump client. So if I were in an ordinary session, meaning that I had directed someone to the BombGuard support portal and they had clicked on my name or entered a session key or submitted an issue uh, and I were in a screen sharing session with them I would have the ability to deploy a jump client in an ad hoc sense uh, using this push pin. So ordinarily this would be horizontal in the interface allowing me to actually pin this client to myself personally or to a team that I'm a part of. Uh, now that this has already been deployed uh, we see it as vertical in the uh, interface and the option is to unpin the jump client. Uh, also, we see this uh, jump client actually reporting back uh, in the system tray of the remote side, BombGuard jump client connected to, and then the site name, so connected to adamdemo.bombgar.com in this case. Um, also, you can go in a browser to the slash login interface of the appliance, and under configuration and jump clients, you have the ability to deploy this as a, a mass deployment wizard. So we can pin this to ourselves personally again or to a team, um, and then we can define a group name, comments, mass deployment duration, which is the amount of time that this installer file is valid for not how long you can access this system once the file has been deployed and installed to a remote machine. So just to clarify, this installer file can be good anywhere from 10 minutes to a year. And then you can define some of the jump client statistics that you want to report back. Uh, so in the representative console, the things that you see, OS, uptime, CPU, disk, screenshot, um, and then you can configure some of these settings as well. So jump client update interval uh, of the statistics above. Also uh, maximum number of concurrent jump client upgrades. So when you update the appliance, how many jump clients can update concurrently. Uh, allow simultaneous representative access to a single jump client. So uh, you can make it so that only one uh, person at a time, one representative at a time can access a jump client or multiple representatives. And then you can also restrict the local uninstall or disable of jump clients through this menu. Um, so you have the ability to deploy this, which will actually give you a local download install button or the ability to email out this mass deployment file uh, to, to actually send out to multiple remote systems.